the next nominee is a woman, the first woman to enter the Senate uh, for the training. Also happens to be the tenth nominee to present herself for screening. Sharon Ikazo. So far, this is the tenth nominee to the screen. Thirty-three more nominees to go. The Shungu senators. Where's the seat? We we have uh, our sister here, Honorable Sharon Ikezo, someone that would have joined this Senate. Let me, on behalf of all of us, welcome the nominee to the Senate Chambers and uh, Mrs. Uh, Ikezo, we have your CV. Nevertheless, you can still tell the Senate and highlight those particular things in your CV that you think are so important to be elaborated upon and those things that are not in the CV but you feel the Senate will find them helpful in taking its decision in the confirmation. So you are invited to address the Senate. Thank you. Thank you, distinguished President of the Senate, Senator Ahmed Lawan. Distinguished uh, Deputy Senate President, Senator Ovie Omoagege, and all other distinguished uh, Senators. But I would like to particularly recognize the senators from my home state of Anambra. Senator Adeze Odua Ekenemgi. Senator Ute Lilian Ekunife Iyom Ekenemgi. And the newest Senator Ifanyuba Dalun. Thank you. Then I also salute every other female senator in this hallowed chamber. <laughs> but I would also like to express my... Order, order, order. 
I would like Order. to express my profound gratitude to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, who never judged me by my tribe, my religion, or my gender. He always judged me by my ability to do the job. I thank him very much, and I'm really honored to be in your presence today. I'm not forgetting my pension as NUP. I know you are up there. <laughs> that, that has become my constituent since I came in here as the Executive Secretary of KITAD. That is a job I had been very, very passionate about. And I'll also like to thank the Senate, because when we come to defend the budget for PITAD, the Senate, the House Committee on Establishment, starting with uh, Senator Polka, now Senator Aline Dume, they have been very, very helpful in backing PITAD to execute its mandate of taking care of our pensioners. I started my uh, political career in 2011 by joining the CPC. What made me take that plunge from private sector as a lawyer? This was the lease of plane crash of 2005. That was when I joined CPC because I felt that crash was as a result of negligence. People would say it's an act of God but there are certain things that are actually pure negligence. We as women, we organize rallies, protest marches in Abuja, protesting that plane crash. But what was the consequence for action? Nothing, nothing happened. So I now felt I needed a platform where my voice would be heard to fight social injustice. That is how I joined the Congress for Progressive Change. And after that, I emerged as the interim national woman leader of the APC as well. I found myself heading an agency that cares for the aged, our senior citizens. In our national anthem, we say, the labors of our heroes past shall never be in vain. But we find that we have been owing pensions to our pensioners. So I took it personally, and I am glad we achieved a lot in sorting out the pension issue in Nigeria. We have restored hope in pension administration in Nigeria today. Because if we do not solve our pension problems, we will never rid this country of corruption. Uh, one other issue that's passionate to my heart as well is the issue of women development and the training and mentoring of young women in politics. I set up the APC Young Women's Forum to create space for the younger women in politics. That is an aside uh, to my CV. But before all this being in uh, politics, I had worked in different um, areas. I've been in project management. I have been in the merchant banks when Nigeria started the merchant banks in the early, later, early 80s actually. I have also worked uh, with a U.S. company that brought in General Electric. I was the principal consultant for the General Electric. This NITP we talk about today was an area I was uh, involved in as, as well. So I thank you all for listening to me. I would like to try and keep it as brief as uh, possible. Thank you very much. You know, this, this chamber is very gender sensitive. Yes. So I, I want to just make a comment. And the, in the spirit of that sensitivity, the, the nominee, if you approve, can take a bow. But b before she takes a bow, I'm sure that we are all impressed by her background, her determination, her commitment. Order. So I will put the question. Is it the view of this Senate 
that the nominee takes a bow and go. Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The eyes have it. You can take a bow. Well, there you have it. The Senate unanimously agrees to the gender considerate and uh, ask Mrs. Sharon Nicasso to take a bow and go without any question or any comment from any other uh, lawmaker apart from the President of the Senate. We understand that there's probably one last nominee for the day, which will make it 11, and that will be um, the former minister for state, for power works and for work, found housing, Mustafa Baba Shiri from Borno State. Now, apart from being uh, the executive secretary of the Tomorrow PTAD, will be another day for this exercise to continue. So let me invite the leader Motion to revert to plenary, please.